Hello friends, welcome to TechCube and in today's video we are going to talk about a very interesting topic called Morse code and its uses in our day to day life. So without wasting time, let's start. In 20th century, we have multiple options for communications, but before that, we have very few options like radio, telephone or telegram. And before that, there are options like sending letters through messengers. This messenger may be a man or a pigeon. And this process was too insecure and sometimes the event fails due to the delay of time. In 1836, such an incident occurred in America. The wife of Samuel Morse wished to send Samuel an invitation. But due to the delay of the messenger, Samuel failed to attend the event. Then he thought to have such a system to send a message instantly. And then he developed telegram. In the telegram, there were two machines. One is sender, another is receiver. And these two machines were connected through a single wire. These used to send information through electrical signals. Here if someone taps in the one side, on the other side one can receive the electrical signal through the movement of electromagnets. Then the problem arises how to understand what the signal informs. And then he started a research on the alphabets and the numericals and with some symbols. In his studies, he find out that we use the word E most in our day to day life and he recognized E as a single dot. And then he named all the alphabets and the numericals with dot and dash. He make it in such a pattern that if you want to send the high, then you have to send the code of H and then the code of I and the receiver will have to decode the message to understand. Then he confirmed the length of the dash that is equal to three dots and the space between a dash and a dot and also the space between a letters or two words or a sentence. This makes studying Morse code much easier and then it is used with endless possibilities. It is used in World War and Navy and also in submarines for data communications. After that it gets some major improvements and it becomes wireless and it sends wireless signals through units and this makes the communication far better and easier and much secure and ultimately it becomes the global communication language. Just think about the SMS tune of Nokia. In the word SMS, S includes three dots, M includes two dash and the S includes again three dots and this is tuned by Nokia to use as their SMS tune. This take a form like the global SOS code is also based on this Morse code and here the S defines three dots and the O defines three dash and again the S defines three dots. Just think if someone would like to convey his message, he can convey his message through blinking his eyes faster and slower and do, doing other handwords or doing other jobs. Even now, there are several applications that can decode the Morse code and send them as a telegram. Some of them are given in the description, so don't forget to check it out. Hope you have enjoyed the video and love to know about the Morse code. If you like the video, then please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for the latest update. Till then, thank you and goodbye.